Emily Jane Fox, uh, he was treated so badly by Trump. Uh, you wonder uh, what, <laughs> what goes through the mind of somebody like Donald Trump who would treat someone so badly who obviously has clear evidence against him. Um, tell me about what Michael Cohen was thinking last night, what he was doing with his family, and what his mindset is at this point. You know, as Donnie said, it was an emotional day for him. I believe last night he tried to live life as normally as possible. I think he went out to dinner with his wife. Uh, I was in the courtroom yesterday and I watched him go through count by count and describe what he did wrong for each count. And, uh, he absolutely got emotional as he was describing them, and clearly it's a hard thing to do mm -hmm. to admit to a packed courtroom full of mostly reporters. Here are the eight illegal things that I did, and I'm going to explain what I did and how I did them. It was very striking to me that on counts seven and eight, the counts related to payments made to women, first of all, he was under oath, and second of all, no one forced him to implicate the president. He, when he started going through each count, stood up and said, first of all, can I stand? And second of all, will you allow mm -hmm. me, judge, to read from a set of prepared notes because I want to make sure that I'm focused. So implicating the presidents in count seven and eight was a deliberate choice, a choice that he wrote out ahead of time and spoke to a courtroom filled with reporters. So that, I think, tells you more about his mindset and how he feels about the president than any interview he's done, anything that anyone around him has said to the press that he got up in that courtroom yesterday.